Hi, I'm Javier Hakeen. I've been a professional comedian for over 15 years. Here are the top five ways to deal with heckles. What's a heckle? A heckle is when someone calls something out while you're on stage. If you're a heckler, don't do that. Everybody hates you. Ideally, the way you deal with heckles is it's gonna come down to the comedian you are. Some comedians are very quick and very good at it. Personally, I'm not a huge fan. I didn't get into comedy to deal with hecklers. Anyway, here are some ways that I've learned how to deal with them. The short, sharp response. You're there, you're doing your bit, you hear a heckle, you just give an immediate shut up and then go back to what you were saying. It's a quick little, I acknowledge that there was a heckle, I've dealt with it very quickly and now I'm moving on. It's a quick way to deal with it without wasting any more of your time and not giving any more time to that heckler. Also, the quick cutaway with the shut up and coming straight back to your material is quite funny in itself. You don't even have to be aggressive with it. You can just be in the middle of what you're saying and hear the heckle and just, no, shut up. Pick an approach that suits you. The point is that it's addressed quickly and you move on immediately. Repeat the heckle. Ideally, when someone heckles you, you've got something to come back with straight away. What you can do to buy yourself a few seconds more time is just repeat what they said. This is gonna give your brain just a little bit more time to come up with something to say back. Also, when you repeat their heckle, repeat it slowly, like if someone said something that doesn't quite make sense. If you can tie what they said into your material, even better. Let's say you're doing a routine about dogs and some heckler yells, your mum or whatever. Repeat back what they said. This guy just yelled out, your mum. I've already got a few seconds there. Let's see if you can tie it in. I was just talking about dogs and this guy said, your mum. So does that mean that every time you hear dogs, you think about your mum? Repeating the heckle back out aloud will take a bit of the sting out of it and gives you a little bit more time to think about what you're gonna say. Get them to repeat the heckle. Essentially what you do here is someone heckles you and you stop what you're doing and recreate the scenario there. Hecklers love calling out from the shadows, being anonymous. Doing this, stopping what you're doing, puts the spotlight on them for a second and makes them feel very uncomfortable. The way I do this is make a big deal about it. Folks, sorry, I'm gonna stop right now because this gentleman over here had an amazing heckle. Uh, we're gonna get you to do it again, okay? Uh, there I was talking about the internet and then you said, you said, no, no, don't say it yet. You prime them to repeat the heckle and then you interrupt them. This undermines them a little bit and takes a little bit of status away. Okay, we're gonna do it again in case anyone missed it, okay? So, uh, could you just get ready for that heckle again? You got it? Do you remember it? Okay, what was it? Oh, no, 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 don't say it yet. Don't say it yet. Interrupt them. You build it up for them to repeat it. And trust, it's never gonna be as good as it was the first time. You're setting them up to fail. Okay, here we go and right. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. I said this and then you said. <sighs> okay. And then finish off with something like, no, it wasn't really worth it, was it, sir? Yeah. Maybe you should shut up. Whatever they said, it's not gonna sound as good the second time around. Hecklers just love sniping out their heckles. This method shines a big spotlight on them. Catches them off guard, makes them feel foolish. Get the audience on your side. Most of the time, that audience is probably gonna be on your side when someone heckles. Even if you're doing badly, the audience still wants to see you succeed. Let the heckler know the audience are on your side. Oh, you don't like me? Well, I think the rest of the room still wants to see me up here. Is that right, guys? Nine times out of 10, you're definitely gonna get the support of the crowd. Carry on with their support. Hey, who here would like this guy to shut the fuck up? Again, I bet you the audience cheers. You have to be doing pretty badly if this fails. And trust me, I have. Ignore it. You don't have to deal with every single heckle. If a heckle comes through nice, loud, clear and gets a response from the audience, whether it's them laughing or the audience groaning, you should definitely deal with it. But if you're doing well, if you're on your flow, if you're going through your bits and it's going really well and you hear a little heckle that no one responds to, ignore it. Just keep going. A lot of the time, not everyone in the audience heard the heckle in the first place. Maybe it's someone near the stage, they say something, why interrupt your flow? Ignore them. Some of the time, hecklers just want attention. Don't give them any. In five milliseconds, everyone's gonna forget about that. Comedians sometimes get trapped in this, this feeling of like, oh, anything that comes at me, I have to deal with it or I'm a bad comedian. No, you're not. In fact, I think you're a better comedian for just carrying on with your material. But for the rest of the audience, apart from the people just immediately around them, they didn't hear it. And if you stop and deal with it, you've interrupted their flow as well. So just ignore them. And they're a heckler. Fuck them. They're not worth your time. Again, I think this only works if there's not a big reaction to the heckle. So those are five ways you can deal with heckles. You've got to remember that every heckle depends on the comedian, the heckle, what was said, where you are. These aren't bulletproof methods to deal with heckles. It's going to be different every time. 
Ultimately, you've got to find your way, but this is some advice I would give you on how to deal with them, especially the last one. Thanks for watching. If you want me to do videos about anything else to do with stand-up comedy, let me know, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.